Hi everyone, it's Lindy on here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today I thought it would be fun to create this little masculine slimline card. So let's go ahead and get started. So for stamps today, we're going to be using this cute little set from Art Impressions. This is the Lawn Ranger set. I'm going to be using this little guy on the lawnmower and then this cute sentiment as well. We'll also be using that little cup from the Travel Accessory set. And that does come with the coordinating dies. And then we're going to use a few pieces from this set. I did want to show you that there is a cup in this other set here, but it's a little bit too large for this project. So let's go ahead and grab that flag, and then we'll grab that little puppy as well. We're just going to cut that little dog out. So for paper today, I'm using the Strathmore. We're still smooth, 100 pound cardstock. And then for ink, I'm using the VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. This is a permanent black ink. I've placed that paper in my Misty stamp positioner and I'm going to go ahead and ink that up. Now I don't need to ink up that whole image where that little puppy is. I just need to capture him. So I'm not going to ink up the rest of that stamp. So now for coloring, let's use tea rose, sugared almond pink, beige, and dark brown. And then later on, we'll be adding a few more colors here. So I'm putting a little bit of pink on the cheek and in the ears there. And then I'll go ahead and use the beige and dark brown to color him in. And for coloring, I'm using the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens. These are a water-based pen. And I'm using that blender pen, the Zig blender pen, to do my blending. And you can see there, if you get a little bit too much ink, you can scribble it onto your scrap paper. So just lift it off your image and scribble that onto your scrap paper. Now I'm going to use those same two colors here, the beige and the dark brown, to color in that little band around that cup. And then I'll use the light gray to keep that lid mostly white, just to add a little shadow there. And I'm using that same light gray here on the grill. And then I'm going to switch to gray for a little bit of shadowing here. Just kind of blend that in. And I'll use those same two colors to finish doing some of the trim work here and on the center of those wheels. Now keep in mind that all of the products I'm using today are listed and linked down below and also on my blog. And for this card, as you noticed, we're using a few images from several different sets. So kind of dig through your sets and see what you have, see what you might be able to incorporate into this little scene. Later on, we'll be adding a little bird on a branch, kind of like overlooking the scene. And I'll show you how to do some texturing for the lawn as well. So now here I've got one of the brand new Zig colors. This is the Deep Vermilion, and this is absolutely beautiful. I felt like the Zigs did need a new red color. I've been waiting for a new red to come out, and this one is just perfect. It's a really pretty shade of red. And if you haven't seen yet, the I did a color swatching of the brand new Zig colors. It's color set A. And I can link that down below for you and on my blog as well. And then I also did a card using some of the brand new colors. So you could check those out. Again, I'll link those below for you. Now I've switched to the light brown here to do the seat. And those new colors that I was referring to, they're kind of more muted tones. They're uh, like some smoky colors. There's a smoky teal and some beautiful colors for blending. They give you plenty of shades of the same colors to do some really nice shadowing, some really pretty blending. So again, you can check that out if you want to. So now I'm going to do the pants and those, that beige and that dark brown. And then I'll do his shoes the same way. So we're going to be adding that little cup to his hands there as he's driving, driving along. We're going to add that flag to the back of the lawnmower. And then we'll cut out that little puppy and put him up front on the lawnmower. So again, kind of look through your images and see what you might have what you might be able to incorporate into your scenes. So now I'm going to just put some stripes on his socks here. And 
And then I'm going to use that same gray color to do the wheels. And I like to place the color on each side of the wheel. And then I just kind of pull that around and I keep adding more shadowing to each side of the wheel. And then I just kind of pull it in. It gives the tire or the wheel a little bit more the look of movement. And I'm just using that same color to do my shadowing. I'm not introducing a second color there. Now I did want to keep the shirt mostly white, so I'm going to use that light gray. Just add a few shadows here and there. Now I'm using that flesh color for his legs, and then later on we'll add a little bit of pink. And I'll use that same color for his arms and his face. And then here, what I've done is placed a little bit of that sugared almond pink right on the mat there. I just scribbled a bit of that color onto my silicone mat and I'm just picking that up with the blender pen and just applying a little bit of color. I'm just kind of dabbing it on and then blending that out. I didn't want too much. I just wanted to give his skin a little bit of a pinky tone. So now I'll switch to another one of the brand new colors. This is called Smoky Teal. And again, you can see it has kind of a muted tone to it. A lot of these colors are really elegant and kind of muted. They're not super bright, which is what I really like about them. There's a couple purples in there um, that are just really elegant looking. So I'm going to use that smoky teal on the cup, and I'll also use it on the flag here. And then I'm going back to that deep vermilion to do the stripes on the flag along with the smoky teal. And then I'll leave some of those stripes light, almost white. I'm gonna add a little bit of that light gray and I'll just blend those out. Now I'm going back to that pink again, putting a little bit more on my silicone mat and just dabbing a little bit of that pink on the tops of his legs. Just again, to make it look like he's been out in the sun and he's got a little tiny bit of a sunburn there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use my detail scissors and cut this out. Now the only die I do have for all of these images is that one that came with the travel accessories and that's that little cup. The rest of these I'll use my de detail scissors to cut out and I'll leave a little white border all the way around. So I went ahead and did that off camera. And now there you can see, I'm just going to use that coordinating die and tape that down with a little bit of purple tape, and I'll run that through my Sizzix Sidekick machine. So now that we have everything cut and die cut, we're going to go ahead and glue these pieces in place. So I want that flag on the back of the mower here, and so I'm going to just attach that quickly using some Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive, and then I'll go ahead and attach my little puppy and I just think he looks so cute up there riding on the front of the mower. A man and his best friend there. And then I've got that little cup. So I'm cutting a little slit between his hands there. I'm just following the stamp line of his hands. And I'm just cutting a little slit. And then I'll slide that cup right in there. So it looks like he's holding on to that. And now you can see that up close. So now I'm using my Jelly Roll gel pen in the silver metallic. And I'll list this down below for you as well. And I'm just going to add a little bit of silver sparkle here and there. And then I've got the white Jelly Roll gel pen and I'll add some highlights. This will just make everything pop out a little bit more. So now you can see that again up close here. I just love this little guy, he's so cute. So now I that 
those little white areas were bothering me a little bit. Now you certainly don't have to do this. I've got a mini craft mat here and my little retractable blade, and I'm just going to cut out some of those little white areas. You certainly don't need to do this, but I just, sometimes I get carried away and I just felt like I had to cut that out. You could certainly just color in that area with a little bit of green there to blend it in with the background that we're going to be creating. So whatever you prefer here is fine. So I just quickly cut those out. And now let's grab the slimline die set. This is again from Art Impressions. I'm grabbing that largest one. And this will cut die cut the panel for us with a stitch border. And for paper, I'm using the Lawn Fawn Cilantro cardstock. This is a 100 pound cardstock. So I'll go ahead and tape that down with some purple tape and I'll run that through the Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine. And I'll just slide this down a little bit so that I can cut that bottom section. So once I have this panel die cut, I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I'm going to cut this at six inches. You can set that other piece aside for something else. And now what I want to do is place this on my Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station. That'll just hold this in place. And what I want to do is create the look of the mowed lawn. Now I'm sure there's other ways you could do this, but this is what I decided to do. So I'm using some purple tape. This is the one and a half inch purple tape and I'm going to put it at the one half inch mark. So you can see I came down from the top of the paper down one half inch. And then for ink, I'm using my Rustic Wilderness Distress Oxide Ink and a small blending brush. And I'm going to just kind of pounce that ink onto the uh, purple tape first and then push it up over the top. And that'll just give us a little shadow here right along this mode edge. So again, I'm just kind of trying to create the look of a perfectly mowed lawn. So now what I want to do is make that grass look like it's coming forward. So now I'm going to go down three squares there and I'm kind of using that grid line off to the side there. So that'd be three quarters of an inch. So that first one was a half an inch. This one will be three quarters of an inch. And then I'll just add a quarter of an inch each time as we go down here. We're going to come back and do the top of these grassy borders as well, but I'm starting just pushing that ink up along the edge to create the bottom side of the grass. So now here you can see I went down four squares, so I'm at one inch now. So these little grassy sections will get wider as we go down this card panel. So again, I'm going down another a quarter inch and I'm going to continue pushing that ink up over the top here. So you just want to use something with a grid or you could use your ruler and just mark it with a pencil before you get started so you know where to place your tape but I find using the grid is just much easier. You could certainly use your glass medium mat as well. I'm just using this because those magnets will hold everything in place. So that last one there, I'm not too worried about. That's going to be the very bottom of the card. So now what I wanna do is place this tape at the top of that line, and then I'll come down from the top onto each of these little striped areas. So I'm going to push that ink down from the top into that striped area. And I'll do that for all of these. So again, what I was trying to create here was the look of a perfectly mowed lawn. And I'm sure there are many other ways you could do this. You could certainly use some border dyes here, some grassy border dyes to do this but I just thought this would be fun and simple and easy to do. So for this last one, I just need to come in from the top down. Now I did decide to grab the Twisted Citron Distress Oxide ink, 
and just kind of blend all of this out. I just kind of wanted to mute out those lines just a little bit. So I'm just using that Twisted Citron and I'm going over this entire thing. So now you can see what that looks like all completed. Now I went ahead and die cut a second panel out of the Strathmore Bristol Smooth White cardstock. The same size as that green panel that we die cut and we can set that aside for now. And now I'll go ahead and grab the watercolor fence dies. I'm going to grab that little one there. I'll die cut that two times. And this will just be the fence in the background on our scene. So I'm using the beige and the dark brown again. And I'll just add a few little shadows here and then I'll blend these out. And again, I'm using the Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock to do this. So I did one on camera, I did that other one off camera and you can see those up close. So to create the sky, we're going to be using the Sunray background stencil from Lawn Fawn. Now I've got this panel and I just want to see about where that grass is going to come to. And then I'll go ahead and position that stencil in place. Again, I'll just use those magnets to hold that down. For ink, I'm using the Scattered Straw, the Wild Honey, and the crackling campfire. So let's start off with the scattered straw. I'm gonna go light to dark here. So I'll start off with my lightest color. And I'm using my blender brush to do my blending. So I'm gonna blend this color all the way out up to the top there. Then I'll come in with the wild honey and start adding that towards the bottom of this sun ray and then kind of pushing that up to the, to the top but I don't wanna go all the way to the top. And then I'll add a little bit more shadowing here with the crackling campfire. And then I'll go back to my lighter colors and just blend that out. Now, once I had that done, I'm going to go back to the scattered straw and I'm just using the ink that was left on my blending tool here. And I'm just going to blend that out just to take away some of that white. Now I've got my distress sprayer and I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of water. I'm just using a small paintbrush here. I'm spattering this with a little bit of water and then I'll blot that up with a paper towel and that'll give a lot of texture to that sky. Now let's go back to that stamp set and grab the sentiment. And that says happy birthday to the lawn ranger. So I'm going to center that up towards the top here. I've placed that in the misty again, and I'm gonna go ahead and use that VersaFine Onyx Black ink to stamp that. I'm just using that Stampendable tool to press that out. So let's go ahead and make our card base. This measures eight and a half by seven inches, and I'm going to score this at three and a half inches. So that'll give us a standard slimline card, which measures three and a half by eight and a half. Just pressing that out with my bone folder. So let's quickly stamp a sentiment for the inside of the card. I'm going back to that same Enjoy the Ride stamp set. And this sentiment says, life is short, enjoy the ride. I'm just centering that here and I'll go ahead and quickly stamp that. So now we can start assembling our card. I'm going back to that Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and I'm going to put adhesive all around this, the back of this panel. We'll attach it. This is the exact same size as the card itself. And then we can go ahead and attach that grassy border. So now let's go ahead and attach these little fence pieces and again, I die cut these smaller ones because I want them to look like they're far in the distance there. So I'm going to attach one on each side. 
Now, it was right about at this point when I realized that I thought this card needed a little something extra. So in a minute here, we're going to stamp another image. We're going to stamp a little bird on a branch just to fill in some of that area on this long slimline card. So first, let's go ahead and pop up our little lawn ranger here. I'm using several little chunks of scotch foam mounting tape, and we'll just go ahead and pop him in place. And then for that little flag, I'm just going to go ahead and cut away any excess there. Now I'm going back to the Rustic Wilderness ink pad, and I'm just going to ink up a little strip of cardstock here. I wanted the grass to look like it's kind of spitting out from behind the lawnmower. So I'm just going to ink that up, and then I'm just going to cut some little small blades of grass. Again, you could certainly use uh, your grassy border dies for something like this and just cut away some of the grassy pieces, but I'm just going to cut some little tiny pieces of, of grass here and just kind of have them spitting out the back of my mower here. So I went ahead and, and cut out using my detail scissors, quite a few of those. And now I'm just going to use my Marvy Jewel Picker to pick those up and glue those in place. Now here's where I decided to grab that little bird on the branch, and that is from the On the Sparrow stamp set from Art Impressions. And I'm going to quickly stamp that onto some Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. And I'll go ahead and color this in. Again, I'm using some of the same colors we used before. I'm using the beige and the dark brown here to do the branch. I'll just quickly blend that out. A little bit of pink there on the cheeks. I added some orange here for the beak. And then I'm going back to that smoky teal to color in the bird. And I'll use that same color to add a little bit more shadowing there. So now I'll use my detail scissors to cut that out. Again, just leaving that little white border around the edges. And then I'm going to pop this up as well. So I added some scotch foam mounting tape. And I'm just going to have it look like the branch from a tree is just kind of over top here. I'll cut away any excess here. And again, that kind of fills in that area a little bit more. So now let's go ahead and add some Nouveau Crystal Glaze. I'm placing a little bit on some scrap paper here and I've got a tiny brush. I'm going to just put a little bit on his glasses there. And since it's such a small area, I decided to just paint it on. That'll give kind of a glossy finish to the glasses and to the centers of the wheels. So I'm just quickly adding a little bit of that. And then I've got my white Jelly Roll gel pen, and I'm going to add a few highlights here and there to that little bit of grass that's spitting out the back of the mower, just to give it a little bit more movement. So now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the finished card, and you can see we have that really pretty sky. And then we have the look of that perfectly mowed lawn. And again, maybe you can come up with some different ways to create that. But I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.